to see where exactly it was coming from. I didn't know whether cats needed their anal glands checked like dogs did, but I was guessing this one might. But Boots, as elusive as any cat, ran away again, meowing at me from across the room. Fine, miss. I have to go anyway, I responded. The third night is when things got weird. That terrible smell hit me as soon as I entered the house. Ugh. I exclaimed, and quickly texted my friend to see whether it was okay to stop the wet food. It smelled strongly of sulfur, like when my French bulldog eats cheese. Something needed to be done. I'd argued in the text the poor cat's stomach needed some sort of managing. My friend asked me if the poop was okay in the litter box, and sure enough it was. She suggested I reduce the portion but not worry too much about it. Apparently Boots can get a little gassy when stressed. I just opened the windows to air the place a little, making sure that Boots didn't attempt to escape. 